Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to Deb Chanel's 48th World where we do reviews especially on the Real Housewives of Atlanta cast all right but we're gonna go straight on into it we got a salacious slanderous type of video and narration going on with the help of Love B. Scott if y'all don't know who she is she's a blogger she's an entertainer uh when it comes to telling about uh celebrities and the goings and comings of their life in the social media world but anyway she has a story out there that is definitely making its way through the social media pitfalls and downfalls and every kind of falls okay she had help with um Another uh, vlogging site called 2fab.com. Check them out. Check them out. But I pretty much just saw it on my uh, social media feed from her, which is her platform, Love B. Scott. Okay. But let's go on into the story, honey. Don't know who really wrote it, but I guess it was a correspondent or a journalist or hell, it could have been Love B. Scott herself or himself, I should say. And... They titled the article as Real Housewives of Atlanta, Tanya Sam Slams Cookie Lady and Kenya Moore Over Cheating Rumors. Yes, y'all know it got hot last Sunday when they were talking about uh, Kenya Moore and Portia and Tanya and Candy being a little bone collector running around now. Lord, I tell you. When are we going to get some dirt on Candy? Because she love pulling up on other people and dishing out the dirt to her so-called friends, Kenya Moore and Cynthia Bailey. But she don't really defend them either. She just sit there like a little mole, a little, uh, what do you call it, a spy or translator of news. So she can transport the messages back and forth. Uh, two, four, what we call it? back and forth, to and fro, uh, is what I was trying to get at, to make sure everybody's on one accord, or who's talking about who, why they talking about them, where they talking about them at, and who is getting all the tea to come back with a comeback, okay, but we're going to go into these cheating rumors that Tanya Sounds has debunked. When it came to the cookie lady and Kenya Moore trying to spread her demise of her relationship, Candace, I mean, Tanya Sam said, oh, no, not this day, not in my house, Miss Kenya Moore. All right. And you would have thought I wouldn't have put Tanya, uh, the one going after Kenya Moore, because, you know, Kenya, I mean, Candy never tried to go after her. Let me see. Cynthia, no. Any other players? Of the cast. Yeah. So it's, it's really been Portia. Nene. Marlo. Mm, and now Tanya Sams. Has gone after Kenya. And feeling good about it. So let's go on into this article. And see what B Love B. Scott has to say. About this situation. It says the sophomore Bravo star. Tells TV Fab. She now has the full story. Even Real Housewives of Atlanta self-proclaimed breath, breath of fresh air has had her breaking points. And when someone questions her relationship, the claws come out. Go ahead, do your thing, Tanya, do your thing. Okay, Too Fab spoke with sophomore cast member Tanya Sam about Kenya Moore bringing up allegations that Sam's fiance, Paul Judge, Judge was cheating on her with who? Bravo labeled the cookie lady, and Tanya did not hold back. I don't know where that came from. I thought we had a great weekend, Tanya told us, of Kenya's decision to call out her relationship in Toronto. And then fast forward to the spa day, everyone was like, oh, Tanya, that's what's happening. Don't point the beast or don't poke the beast. And I'm like, guys, I don't know what, what's happening. Why is she directing this at me? Now, Candy could have told you full well. And Cynthia could have told you too. But I heard Cynthia took it off air uh, and told you. And Candy could have did the same thing. Talking about, well, what me and, Ken, what me and Kenya talked about. Uh, when I heard it, it was off air. But Kenya, I mean, Candy, what about when... 
you told Kenya that Mike was going to propose to Cynthia and that she need to hurry her little boots on and get to the event before she miss out. Now, that was off camera, okay? But you chastised Kenya about the ordeal. What you and Kenya talked about was off record. It wasn't viewed on the TV screen showing you calling Kenya telling her to hurry up. That was off camera. So why in the hell would you not give Tanya the same courtesy and tell her? But you tried to make like, well, what was said, it was off air. So I don't believe I should bring news that was off air on camera. Well, ain't that the pot calling the kettle black? Candy, I call file on you all day, every day. And you too can get it and will get it every time I feel like I want to bring it to you. Because you're a foolish, fraudulent, fakery, and um, and just fake. Total fake, fake, fake. Now I can see why Tiny don't get down too much with you. You remember when y'all were trying to have that girl escape renewal type celebration of getting y'all a little group back together and you couldn't come with the goods you couldn't have a good attitude and tiny had to lay into you verbally on camera now that's a woman that i can get with all day every day until she you know start messing with her husband over there and he's doing everything to her then that's another whole conversation but i can rock with tiny when she try to get her girlfriends together and try to bring them to the center to find some logic and reasoning of what they're uh having conflict with. Yes, she sold your butt up from the top of your head to the sole of your feet. And you couldn't say shit. And I'm like, go ahead, girl. Go ahead, trying to get on into Candace's ass. Okay? But that was just my sidebar. I'm going back to the article. It said, Tanya said she never got to the bottom of Kenya's motive. However, based on Moore's confessionals, Sam seems to think it might it might have been reflective of what was going on in her own life. Okay. Tanya trying to flip the script. She's saying Kenya trying to be upset with everybody else's good relationships that's going and forming and all of this. And she's trying to rain on everybody parade because she's having such a miserable time in her own marriage. Allegedly. Okay. Go ahead. Tanya. Speak your mind. Speak your mind. Like the Isles of Brothers. Ron Isles of says in one of his songs. Speak your mind baby okay then we going back to the article it says only after kenya brought up the rumor did bravo show previously unseen footage of this cookie shop owner telling kenya and cynthia bailey that paul has been all over her trying to booze her up now to me that sounds like a ploy from productions just trying to start shit okay because why would he want to booze her up in a cookie shop i'm just saying don't sound too true to me but going back to the article it said when tanya saw the scene along with the rest of america she was mad and quite frankly she should have been mad should have put hands on everybody no nah, i'm just kidding <laughs> we don't condone violence on here but if you happen to do it behind closed doors tanya i ain't mad at you i ain't mad girl but going back to the article, it said, by this time, we had already gone through this whole season. So when you actually see the footage and you see this woman who I kind of thought was a bit of an opportunist, she saw a camera and was like, oh, my gosh, I want to tell this story. I was mad because it was like trumped up exaggeration. Now I have the full story and I'm like, none of that happened. Now, I'm just going to say on my side, but well, Tanya, he going to say that didn't happen because she didn't have audio or recording of the situation of the conversation she was having with your fiance boyfriend whoever you want to call him all right so let's not cast her story out let's not pack up everything and just take your fiance's word for word girl gonna get a pi gonna get a private investigator and have him follow for a month and see what you can come up with now, if it comes up with something different then you got to go talk back to mr paul judd Okay, and then you have evidence. You have pictures, you have times, you have dates, and he can't get out of that, baby girl. He can't swallow that and try to let you swallow some bull he's trying to feed you. Now, if it comes up empty, then you just know that was some well worth money spent to save on your mentality because you thought he had wandering eyes and his body was trying to poke something that it didn't have nothing to be poking on. You give him a drill, Tanya? Do you give him a drill? But we're going to go back to the article, and it goes on to say, 
careful not to spoil what's to come on the rest of season 12 sam told us uh paul judd assured her the encounter the encounter with the cookie lady described was a platonic one and in a group setting is zero on the scale of anything. Tanya recalled Paul telling her. He also assured his fiance there was no touching involved and no one asking for or exchanging of numbers. Now Tanya, to me, just a sidebar, that's just a man like he's trying to cover his tracks. But if you believe him, honey, he's giving you no inkling in your gut of guts. In your heart, okay, that he's cheating, then bypass all the bullshit. Continue to go where you're going. All right, but going back to the article, it says she's got Real Housewives in her Instagram bio, Tanya told us. So I was like, okay, this was obvious, obviously a really great platform for you to display your business. And I think there's somewhat of a dis. Uh, a disregard for the real people's lives in there but it was a great platform that worked for her okay maybe tanya she was trying to get some tv time 15 minutes of fame and for us to get, get her shown on a very big large platform it's okay baby does your shoulders off as jay-z say all the time women are pimps too just go on and brush your shoulders off all right do that baby girl and keep stepping don't look back. Continue to be forward. Go looking forward. If if Paul's your man and you can accept whatever he says as the gospel truth, then go on, honey. Go on. Serve up yourself with him on a platter. All right. Um, going back to the article, Elijah. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. In spite of the attempt to knock down her relationship, Tanya said she and Paul are stronger than ever. We're solid as a rock. Yes, she said we're solid. She told us that's part of the beauty of having a strong foundation on which you can go on reality TV. Okay, now Tanya, I'm going to tell you like this. You spend too much time on reality TV and the cameras are following your a uh, significant other on an ongoing basis you're gonna find out some dirt and it might kind of taint your relationship so don't get it all twisted because you know you got todd out there can be catching him filing up the media will be already there trying to scoop the story before she even really find out herself you got peter remember him and cynthia and all that mess you remember phaedra and apollo let me see. You even had Greg Leakes trying to wonder some things about Nene before he had his cancer scare. So, yeah, it's kind of detrimental when you do have your significant other on the show. It can go against you and it can play in your favor. It just depends on how the coin is tossed. Okay. But going back to the article, that was just my sidebar. It says, when it comes to her relationship with Kenya, however, that might not ever recover. You have to cherish the things that you hold dear. And so when people sort of try to attack those things, it takes a little bit longer for you to forgive that. Tanya said, well, Kenya, forgiveness is for yourself, baby, not for Kenya. So you're going to have to forgive the situation and move on and you ain't got to be in her space no more if you want to cat cat fight with her that's good that's good for ratings that's solidifying yourself for another season on the real housewives of atlanta and that was my pun intended not in this article going back to the article it says i can forgive a lot of minor infractions but that to me felt a little bit across the line well tanya my sidebar baby that really wasn't across the line that was hitting at your kneecaps okay she had went on past that line and drug on to your kneecaps yes that was a very big pill to swallow to insinuate that your fiance was cheating on you girl yes but anyway going back to the article it says sam's also had no regrets about showing Morris wig on camera, telling two fab she felt the gesture was simply a funny, corny joke. The scene before she denied wearing it, like very vehemently denied wearing it, and we're all sitting there going, but we can see it, Tanya said. We all know Kenya has great hair, so it's like if we can't talk about this, what are we supposed to be able to talk about? We talked about such personal things. And hello, it's a bunch of black women. We all wear wigs. To me, it had nothing to do with her natural hair care business or anything else. Now I'm with 
Tanya like that. But see, Kenya ain't that solid. She's not that secure in herself. She's going to be as vain as it possibly can be. Because that's all she has. She thinks it's her beauty and her quick wits that she can get back with people that's going to land her on top. But we all know all that glitter is not gold. Every time you want fame and fortune, there's going to be a downside to that. So we're going to let Kenya continue. We're going to let Kenya to continue in her um, wide street that she's driving on and see what becomes of her later on in life after the Real Housewives of Atlanta has gone on to bigger and greater things. Okay, that's my pun intended, not in this article. Going back to the article, it says, however, the retaliation of it, Tanya added, did not match what I had done. Unfortunately, we have to wait and see how said retaliation plays out during the rest of the season. The Real Housewives of Atlanta airs on Sunday, 8 p.m. on Bravo Time. Yes, we're talking about January 26th with some more explosive uh, of an episode supposed to be having us entertain and that was in my head not in this article but that was a good article piece written up guys what y'all think about that now y'all already know what i felt about it from the beginning of the narration for the start of this video now i want y'all to tell me what y'all think do y'all think this is fake fraudulent fuckery foolishness that kenya is giving us on tanya or you think tanya is making too much of this when it's um uh, geared around or centered around the point of Kenya trying to comfort her man as well as her relationship and her status of her relationship with her man hey I want to know what you think so get on in them comments and tell me give me the reason give me the reason to want you back yes that was Luther Vandross okay but get on in them comments y'all let me know how y'all feel about this article the subject matter and what do y'all truly feel about Tanya and Kenya's feud that they got going on okay it's kind of nice to me to have someone that's a friend of the show going to try to come back and be kind of seen as meek and mild and just fun loving not like Marlo Hampton because you know she give us that all the round uh HBIC type of look okay but Tanya you know she's sweet kind and I always want to do for the underdog and just want to be kind to everybody and she's sitting up there solidifying herself going against Kenya Moore okay and then Kenya talking about she had to come with some savage moves honey she can come in with some uh what do you call it sassy suave moves and knock Kenya off her pedestal honey she got a rocking she got Kenya Moore looking and saying things in these streets so that says a lot about tanya sam so i can pretty much say they one on one now they're gonna get back in this ring and fight it out on sunday so y'all make sure y'all check that episode out that's coming up on the 26th okay and see how they feel our appetite for salacious slanderous type of mindless drama on the real housewives of atlanta okay i'll see y'all next video and don't forget don't play with me Y'all need to subscribe to my channel, okay? And help me grow, grow, grow. Alright? And share and like my videos. Good night, guys. Bye-bye.